Come on, dude, that was sick. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, that was sick, dude. All right. I can't hear the game. Oh, man. Oh, what's up, everyone? Sam's just learning how to cheat in this game for a little bit. I'm just learning how to cheat a little bit. Weird thing is, is if, if I hit confirm, I can't do like the full combo when I get caught. Like I can only do the f I sh if I hit with it, I need to only do the first combo. I have to be like on top of mine. You have to be fast. Yeah, I can't just hold my fucking dash button. And then he just punches you in the gut. I also have to be able to hit the down button. Because it's very often where I just do slash into heavy slash and then nothing and then comes nothing, out of it. Alright guys. You dares to enter the mayhem. I wanna hear Faust song, dude. That song makes me feel. Is this the song that I was playing? I hope it was. It's called Alone in Fester. Dude, it sounds like it's sad. I am sad. I am very, very sad. Ooh, look that. We contrast. You have the orange. Oh, yeah. And then you have the oh, yeah, I was going to buy the, the the character pack or whatever. Oh, the season pass. Sam's caving in. Sam's caving in for a fight again. I was like, I'm gonna buy it eventually. I'm putting a lot of time into this game. Sam's like, I already fucking spent $150 on a fight stick. Uh, you know, $20 for a season pass. Man Why not? Knew that they could Why not? Duel Why not, right? Alright, you should've, uh... Alright. I better see some new things. I better see some new things. Some pressure. What's up, Rogue One? Mission accomplished. Well done. Return to base. Is it rude? What's you have to call people out Mid when you see that they're secretly in the chat and haven't said anything? Yes. I love it. Mankind. And we love it. Let's rock. Oh, we're doing good. Don't worry. This time we're actually going to do. No, we're not just gonna play Strive the whole time, even though we want to. I guess it's too into this fucking game. Oh. How are you doing, dude? Woo! Oh, I fucked up. Resuming mission. Andy. Andy. Andy's here. You gotta watch out for these hammer balls and the mega punch. 
Everybody dies eventually. Now I know there's there's two people that aren't here yet that deserve some things. So I'm waiting. My hammer fall should have worked, but you're not gonna like this. Baiting the hammer fall. We can go home. This is Sam right now. <laughs> I mean, we might be too loud. It might be too loud. Just a little bit too loud, everybody. I hope you guys were awake there. <laughs> I, I might have blown out some people's eardrums. Oh, fuck. I forgot to change the volume on that. Uh, That's okay. I think it's supposed to be like that, though. Damn, red the uh, red the low hit. But will he read the smack, the punch, the hit, the smack, the grab? All right, here, here. Oh, I see what am I doing? No, I didn't mean to do that. You don't have your precious sword. Ooh, the double jump. I fucked up the thing. The one time I mess up against Sam. Oh. Damn. My little cape. My little cape couldn't, uh, I couldn't do it. I'm trying to like use the dash button now instead. That makes sense. Trying to learn new things, you kinda have to do a little worse before you can get better, you know? At least I'm uh Let's rock. Feels better. Feels better. Mega first. Mega first. That's my favorite move in the game. I can tell, dude. 
A simple kick, dude. I, I never, I never see it. <laughs> but, but, I need, I need to start using. It's so slow, though. It's not even worth using. It's like, I mean, it's uh, after after your uh, after your mega fist, it's like unpredictable, I guess. Yeah, but I, can, I wonder if that's faster than a low sweep, though. Because if I can hit you with a low sweep, it's way more beneficial to me to do a low sweep than a fucking low kick. You know? You know what I'm saying, guys? Sam's trying to lay down the fucking new moves that he's doing, but. I gotta do an empty jump and then just grab all oh, that thing. Oh, that was dope. I could have Roman pants. That was dumb as well. Oh, oh shit, dude! I always go. I, whenever I'm dashing, I always go. I just fucking zoom. I do the zoomies. I should. I, that's what I should always do because I know you're gonna. You always do the dash. I just walk forward like two steep feet. Guard. Can you jump over me now? Who's in the corner? Yep. Let's rock. Oh, dude, I'm always afraid. <laughs> Hot sauce start up, dude. He, he he has the he has the power. Oh fuck, I fucked up. See, I got the hickey from there, and it fucked me up. Ah! Oh, I don't even. Know. I tried to do my anti-air thing there. It didn't did not did not work very well. Ooh, the boys looking sharp, looking nice and clean. Thank you. Yeah, Sprosters here. Let's go. <laughs> Previously famously known as uh, Spit Roaster. As Sam used to say. The Spit Roaster. Ah! Gotcha! Oh, well. No! <laughs> oh, I tried to do my down circle. Did not land though. Oh! How's everyone doing tonight? How are the boys doing tonight? Mankind uh. knew. I want to do one or two more and then go online. Yeah, sure. Let's rock. Oh, I thought it Oh. Your, your, your attacks have so much priority. Yeah. That I, I can't even, like, uh, back that, <laughs> like that. It's nice. It's nice when, uh, you have the priority. When, it's, when you don't have the priority, if I saw, then uh, it's not nice, you know? And everything you know is, uh, wrong. Oh, I'm dead. Slash. Duel 2. Let's rock. Hammerfall! Incurred! Fucking middle of the street. Oh god. Oh god. 
Oh, I tried to get under you. Yeah, it's good just to get out of the fucking corner. I mean, you do do the double jump, so... It's weird, because I'm like... I'm, I'm hybriding right now. I feel like I can do better... I, I do better with the, uh... With the button. But I'm like a little bit... Love. Two rows! Yes, sir! Yeah, it's the Moist Man 777! Let's go! Dual two. Oh, who's there? Hey, my name is the Moist underscore man 777, and I had just one sex partner. Let's go. Ah, I thought I could, uh. Ah, I fucked up. I love rainbow. I love me some rainbows. Mission accomplished. Rainbow. T well, someone changed it instantly right after the rainbow. That's really sad. <laughs> hey, my name is Any Nine. Core Nine, and I have had exactly zero sex partners. Chernobyl hot tub. Hot the synth water. <laughs> Ah, uh, dude, the synth water goes good with uh, the the, pure, the blue chocobo. I'm not gonna lie. Synth water, blue chocobo. It's a hell of a combo. Uh, hell of a combo. By the way, this is all gonna change once fall comes around. New color, new water colors. Pumpkin spice, everything. Pump, pump little rim around the 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 tub. New background. It's gonna look good. Some little pumpkin spice tub. Little pump. That's gonna be the. We're gonna be just sitting in pumpkin spice. Let's I would be hard, dude. That's what they told me on the internet. What game are you playing? We're playing Guilty Gear Strive. <laughs> I wish I could just pull off that move like I wanted to, like... Uh, uh. Do you have an attack that can, like, come out? No, I don't. Resuming mission. We doing some, uh, love talk later? Yes, we are! We are doing love talk later. It's happening in about... One hour, so we gotta get online so we can get at least an hour of beating up kids. Oh man, I don't know. I think I'm just too slow. I don't, I, you're not giving me a second to breathe. Target's decommissioned. I can't do anything. Understood. Proceed with the next mission. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can do anything as people online. I, I I feel good about my pot today. I think I feel. I don't know. Usually, uh, usually, uh, I miss grabs, and I suck. Well. I would say that's a good feeling. I'm glad, but just wait till uh, till you fight confident opponents and they put pressure on you because yeah. that's usually a big difference. Yeah, that's probably gonna that's probably gonna hurt me. Once I fight a Saul, dude, everything go, will go down the drain. My 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 ambition, my <laughs> my dreams, and everything, everything I know and love disappears. Everything you know and love, I don't know about that. Everything I know and love. Oh, there, there's a pot up there. There's two pots, dude. I don't know, does Sam want to go up against the pot? Yeah, why not, dude? 
It's a slightly bad matchup for me, but you know. Are you ready? Who's next match and rating update? That's scary. For me? Yeah. Oh, he didn't want to fight me. He doesn't want to fight a ram? Guess not. Oh, you can fight a Eno. Eno is literally my worst matchup. But is it know, really? It is. Really? Why? Well, Saul. And Are you ready? Oh, okay. I was gonna yeah. say. Is anyone. <laughs> is I know, at least that's what the. I. That's what the. Um, that, like, Ram main that I learned everything from said. Is there any, uh. Slightly good matchup against Saul? Like, no. is it. Okay. Like, himself is the only good. Oh, it's, okay. It's the 50 50. It's the 50 50. Yeah. Right, so, Saul fights himself, it's 50 50. Yeah. Everyone else is under. Soul just has advantage. That's that's good. This person's just not here. Let's just see if somebody will come to me. I'll do a little fishy, fishy. Ooh, a little fishing for action. Love talk, baby. Love talk. Oh. Nope, that guy did not want... Nobody wants none of this. No one wants a thick hug, dude. No one. Oh! No. No one. The, the Eno doesn't want to fight. Um, everyone's just uh, scared. Spussin boots. There's a Nago. <sighs> no, well, Chip got there. Oh, there's two people that entered, dude. Just standing on the main center. Everyone, everyone wants to be main center, right? Center stage. Here we go. Look, that guy looks like Reeves. I mean, uh, that guy from Palm Fantasy Seven. Oh, Aleo. Oh, Aleo. Are you good against? Uh, what's your matchup with this Walter guy? Walter White. It's favorable. Holy shit! He did look like Walter White. What? The, his little avatar. Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. I was like, Leo looks nothing like Walter White. What are you talking about, dude? No, no, I was talking about his little ass. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Can you change your name inside the game? Maybe. Can we change? Because, we, like, can we go on our account? Or, like, uh, my name? And then, like, we can change the name to, uh, One Soul, Two Hands. And then we try to beat people with, uh, Two Soul. And we, uh, play with, uh, one, one of us has one hand on the button, one of us has one hand on the control, and we just uh, try to ruin kids' lives. Control. I don't know, dude. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do tonight, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not, not, uh. Dang, he ain't feeling it. My sword. Uh oh, this ain't good. Holy shit. Fucking Wolverine, motherfucker. Oh my god. Wait, is that ranked down now? Maybe. You fought well against me. Now rest. Jeez. Win. Is that a rating update? Rating update. Yeah, dude. Let's go. Is that a, are we on floor nine or eight? We're on nine, so we go back to eight. Okay, so it's not not horrible. Yeah. Move on to the next. I, I feel weird with my, my pinky here. That's why. Sam's trying to new pinky well strats. Done. I gotta. I think I gotta get. I I, I have to get used to the button, dude. The button is just too, it's too good for, it's too critical. The dash? Yeah, the dash. The button uh, dash is too critical. Didn't someone say you don't need button dash? Yeah, like I literally, yeah. I, I literally uh, watched a, a video that where people were like shitting on people who use button dash. And then, then, uh, then I saw like a bunch of, cause I watched, you know, Guilty Gear videos on YouTube. And then I saw a bunch of videos saying like, this is why even pro players need dash and get to your strive as a button. And I was like, oh, I guess maybe normal fighting games you don't. 
but because of the way that Guilty Gear is, it's better to actually learn the dash button. Oh, so you, there's like fighting play. Oh, so you were like thinking. It just like I was just looking at general like fighting yeah. game like uh, like fight stick like how you should keep your fingers and stuff. Yeah, because other games don't have dash buttons, dude. Yeah. Oh man, Orange Juice 69. Orange Juice 69. Dual one. What's good, dude? Let's rock. We're doing love talk today. In one hour, the long-awaited love talk. I'm Pet hasn't been here in a hot minute, so can do it without him getting angry at us. Oh, love! Yeah, it's gonna be pretty big. Boom! That's huge. That was, uh, that was, uh, oh, big! Yeah. So what's uh, the matchup like for this person, Sam? Uh, it's pretty favorable for, for Ram. Oh, the favorable matchup for Ram. So that means it's a guaranteed win for Sam. Remember right here, Fable? He's guaranteed. Oh shit, you got the kick started. You have to burn the Oh. Let's Nice! Oh shit. Ah! Oh. Tragic. I hate to see it. Oh, that's you. Oh, that was... That was big, dude. Trying to do some trick ups. Okay, yeah. Let's do a mix up they call trick. Oh, God. Oh, this puts him into career. Uh, uh, don't like this, is right? I don't like this. Oh, oh That has invincibility frame. Yeah. I think all, uh, all supers do, to some extent. Well, it can hit fucking Pot out of his thing, and it can hit Ram out of her thing. Man, dual one. Let's rock. What's your guys' preferable pet? Um... Right now, my girl, I mean, my fiance. Uh, right now, my fiance has a bunny. And I like that because, you know, very low maintenance. And uh, it's a cute little bunny that hops around. Though I do wish. But sometimes I like I like dogs because, like, you know, they try, sometimes they listen to you. The bunnies, they don't really listen to you. Oh! If I could have a, any pet though, and, and it could live in any environment, I, I would want like a penguin. A penguin? If it could live in uh, my, I would, I would want a little freaking penguin. I don't know how to take care of it though. I just want one around. I would just hope that it doesn't poop and pee everywhere, you know. And I'd hope I wouldn't have to take much care of it, but I probably would. But I always want, I always think it'd be cool to have a penguin as a pet. But I know it's not possible. My other pet idea was also impossible because I know it's not 
possible is an a baby elephant, and it stays a baby elephant. You only think she's low maintenance because you don't take care of her. Yeah, that's true. Changing the litter box can be a little bit annoying. Abby was here the whole time! I knew it! Mr. Copter Penguin. Yeah, Penguin and a baby elephant that would have to say a baby elephant. But it's not possible because I want to pick up the baby elephant, and you know what? A baby elephant... It's pretty heavy to fucking pick up! And I couldn't deal with that! Oh, I just played a few episodes of Fairly Odd Parents and decided to tune in. Well, Love Talk isn't happening in for another 50, 50 minutes. I know people come on here and, and love them. And baby elephants are pretty light. <laughs> No, no, I think elephants. I think I think elephants are pretty cute. Are you guys into WWE? Um. I don't really, uh, I don't really, uh, pay too much attention to it. Um. Got him. I sometimes watch videos about, like, WWE. Or, like, the, the fighters and stuff. And I'm like, oh, man, that's pretty cool. Like, little, little histories of the... I guess fictional fighters or whatever you want to call them. Alright, dude, that felt a little bit better. I, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Sam's feeling better now. That's all we- that's God, I got a little confidence from those last two matches. Kicked her ass. But yeah, I- I've never really watched WWE. I know Sam went to a, a real event, though. Mm. I went to WWE SmackDown with my, uh, fiance. We were, uh, girlfriend and boyfriend at the time. It's funny because she's European, and I wasn't expecting that she wanted to, uh, go to it. I mean, I, don't call me a diehard fan, because I'm not. But I mean, I enjoyed the experience. I thought it was phenomenal. I thought it was a lot of fun. The crowd was super into it. Uh, they were really good performers. Um, you know what's funny is, when I was in college, I had a friend who was like a huge WWE fan. And like, it was the first time in my life that uh, I was like, Oh, dude, WWE isn't that good. Like, it's it's stupid because it's, like, fake. How can you, like, like it? And he's like, yeah, well, that's the whole point. Like, it's, like, theatrics. Like, you're, like, we're not stupid. We understand that. And it was the first time that I got, like, clapped in a WWE <laughs> argument because I was like, oh, I guess that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's like watching theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, no, that's, that's totally, uh, I totally get that. There's, like, stories behind it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, there's stories behind it. There's, you know, like all the characters are different and shit. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> Nobody wants to fight the soul. <laughs> ah! Oh, you know God. what? I have to fight him. I have to fight him. I'm gonna get pissed though. I, I'm warning, warning. Ready? I'm gonna get pissed. But yeah, there's a funny story behind it. I I went after work uh, with my girlfriend. And, uh, I was, st I was dressed in, like, a dress shirt and, like, I was, like, in jeans, but I had, like, a dress shirt on and stuff. And, and I didn't realize, like, what the, you know, the general attire would be for the crowd. Everybody's in, like, fucking camo, like, tank tops and, like, trucker hats. It was, like, a, it was a hillbilly, uh, event for sure. And, uh, I certainly felt out of place, but, uh, the crowd was very, you know, very nice. They didn't, they didn't give me shit. Also, the dress shirt just also happened to be, uh, it was pink and it had navy flamingos on it. So it was an, it was an extra flamboyant, uh, shirt. Oh, boy. I hate this one. Soul the hole, dude. Oh, that's even better when there's fucking... The rollback phrase. You can dress in a chicken suit. It wouldn't even be out of place. Yeah, true. 
I do, yeah, I don't know. WWE is, uh, it changed me, I would say. I definitely have an appreciation for it now. It's a fly. Fucked up, dude. They even get, like, a bigger combo when you fuck up like that. Yeah. Yes! Get the nice. fuck out of here! I meet her. I just need a. I need a like. Oh, is he dead? He's dead. Oh! <laughs> you didn't even need it. <laughs> oh man. People going at right there after the office and still be fine in the suit. Nice. Unless it's Sunday, that would be bad. <laughs> what the fuck? You fucking kidding me, dude? It's a little whoop -de -de. He get He's giving you the whoop -de -de. Oh. oh, he didn't want it, dude. Fair What the oh. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Anyways, I just came by to say hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you, Orange Juice. We appreciate it, man. <laughs> Bye. What's up, Zuriko? How's it going, man? There's one in the bag. One in the bag, dude. Beating a soul is, uh... You should get, like, two wins. Let's rock. Is that what we're gonna start saying from now on? We're just gonna be like, whenever we get pissed, we're just gonna be like, What the fuck? Are you kidding me? His jab? No, get away from me. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, he goes under that too. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you can do that. Uh, got two meter as well. Oh, uh, well, it doesn't even matter, dude. He doesn't even need to use specials because like he, he shouldn't even have fucking tension. Holy shit, dude! He shouldn't even be able to do anything. There is there's a combo for Soul that's like intentionally uh it will intentionally wall break. Uh, or he has, yeah, he has a combo that sticks into the wall, like, high up on the wall. And if you can combo it into a super where he does, like, an uppercut and then punches you really hard. So that he'll get a second wall break off of a raw super. So you'll fall off the wall into it and then just get fucked. Stupid. Oh. Yeah. Everything sucks. Bandit. 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 He, he, he quits after two? Really? That's not even a best of three. Come on. That's even, that's the worst soul. A soul that doesn't want to finish the fight. Wow. It's like going to a tournament and then you fight your two first matches and the guy just leaves. That's good. That's really good. Oh, I think that's a Kai. Do you want to play or? No, you can go again, because I did. I did one and then got knocked down. Are you ready? Well, at least I'm not nearly as, uh. Kai is not nearly as bad. Pee pee storm. <laughs> Pee pee storm with a, uh, face. Nice. Like, uh. 
How's uh, Zuriko? How's how's it going, man? How's everybody's day in uh? How's everybody doing in chat? How's everybody day in uh in, in chat? <laughs> <laughs> Any old megalols in chat? Any Keck W's? Duel. Oh man. Let's rock. Have this. Ooh, have this. You can be your I, I, I see you. All right, guys. Who's a Keck L or and who's a Keck W -er? We need to we need to pull right now. <laughs> I see you. Poor guy, dude. His rival just got juiced and he has nothing. Yeah, he really does have nothing, dude. Yeah. It sucks. It sucks to be a Kai, dude. I hope that they they'll probably bust him. He seems like one of the worst characters. Oh, oh my man, god, dude. we just gave him the cross. Duel two. Let's rock. Oh. Oh. Nice. You're clapping his to this guy's cheeks. You're oh. just dominating. Oh man. Proceeding with the mission. All right. Well, there's uh, there's one in the bag. Put my money in the bag. Slap you around. Oh, right off the bat, dude. He jumps right into it. I see you. Oh shit, dude. He doesn't like follow up with anything. Oh, God, dude. I don't know about this guy, dude. I feel a little bad. Man, he is an idiot. He must have been able to do it. Maybe he's just really he doesn't know what to do with Todd. He's like not even finishing his like sword combos. Yeah, he could be shook though. Like when you get somebody on defense, it can be really good in this game because then they they just don't get any resources. You can't let the momentum shift them. For him. You gotta beat him down until he has no hope left. Oh, I meant to fucking do my ult, but I lost my egg last Friday. Thank God he wasn't beaten. No worries though. It went over easy. He's now on the sunny side of existence. Definitely in a better place. Or a better plate. Oh, Drubal! Drubal coming in with those goofy, goofy intros. I love it. Thanks, man. I'm glad that your egg was found, though. And that he's on a, you know, the sun. Excellent! <laughs> What? The fuck? DIY. He's just looking for some DIY right now. Well, I mean, yeah. After you grab him. You're pretty good. Not too bad. Two in a row, tic tac toes. Tic tac toe, touch my toes. Tic tac toe, touch my toes. Two in a row, tic tac toe. Just sitting here watching two top dudes in a tub. It's a uh, good time. Good times. Gets the single hits in, dude, and then uh, that's it. You gotta hold on to what you got. It doesn't make a matter if you're different or not. You have time. Oh, 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 he's he's warming up. Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not the best option there, Kai, buddy. Hmm. I thought he was gonna wake up super and fuck him. But, you know. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Oh, my boys got them combos down now. Chris does that slate. Yeah! Chris has got combos, dude. I lost all mine. I lost all mine in the abyss that is this beast of a machine. I just want to sp spend like 24 hours. Actually, this weekend I'll probably have to amount of time to practice. Oh, I missed the, I missed my grab. Oh, fuck, 
frame drop. Big punch. Big punch. Exploit, are you in Celeste? Copy that. Awaiting next Dude, you better believe he's in Celeste. He's making a Celeste pizza all the time. Alright, Sam. I think all you need to do is win one or two more. Yeah, this girl named Celeste. I'm all in her. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, son. Oh no, I'm stuck. You're stuck as a pot, dude. The moving fortress. I'll never, ever, ever be the same. We got to we got to floor ten. Yeah, we got to floor ten. Um, not a bad look. Not a bad look. If we're on our A game, I think we can make it to. Uh, we could make it to Celeste. Wait, once you get to Celeste, isn't there like VIP? Like you get to Celeste, and then I there's like the challenge, right? Like yeah, in order to stay in Celeste, you have to. Yeah, you have to do a challenge or whatever. But what happened, after you do that challenge, do you just stay in Celeste? You gotta win five out of six to, to stay. And what happens after that? Like, are you just, like, grandfathered into Celeste? Maybe. Man, no, you probably have to stay thing. there. It's just, there, there's just, like, a harder... Oh, uh, like... Oh, after you do that, you can just chill there whenever? No way! Oh my god. There are some bads in Celeste that got there early. Oh my god! So, like, literally... You could, if we played this game right when it came out, and me and Sam just got good in, like, two weeks, we could have been in Celeste and gotten our... Well, if you get to Celeste, right, like, you can't go down, right? Like, you can't fight level 10s or 9s. You can't get cocky. Nikita. Five sex partners. No. Wait. Four. Five. Four. No. Three. Nikita. Three. Nice! Nikita! What's good? Got good in two weeks? You guys aren't even good now! Yeah, we're, we're struggling a little. The main thing the main thing nice about Celeste is people have better connections. That's That's good to know. Dude, that's so crazy that you can stay in Celeste. But you can't play like anyone below Celeste once you get there, right? Like, you're just trapped in Celeste, like, if you, like, let's say you take a break from this game for, like, two months, and then you go back to playing it, you're in Celeste. Oh, you can drop the floor then. Oh, shit. No. You can drop the floor 10, but is Celeste like always open for you? Oh. Is it like how we can like go to floor 10 right now to fight people? No! I had him, dude. Look at that. Yeah, that is a damn thing. Just wait until you get to floor 69, if you know what I mean. Damn, imagine if there was. I hate this man. Ah, oh, oh, here it is! is. Yup, there it is! Whoop, there, there it is! Whoop, oh, there it is! KLC44! No, no man, we're just two dudes hanging out in a tub. For you. Oh, 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 here's the, the five feet apart thing. Another one. There we go. Dropping my wallet like it's my job, man. Thanks, Rogan, for keeping track. 
Thanks, Ragans, for keeping track. Yeah, we get, uh, it's actually more time than the, the counter, and you just started the counter probably, like, two weeks ago. It was said a lot more earlier. But yeah, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people say, I guess you can hang out in a hot tub. You, you must be gay. in this world are insurmountable. A mother's recipe Why are you gay? Best cheese. meme video. <laughs> Dual one. I don't know if I've seen that. Let's rock. <laughs> Being gay would be tough because then I'd know I'd know who Jack is from both sides. Or both sexes. <laughs> I've got it. Ain't nothing wrong with a little rejection, you know? The thing of being denied by every, every, everyone. Okay, there we go. There's a little bit of... A little bit of juice. Kick him, kick him, kick him. Recovery. Oh. do you think we could still go to tournaments and beat people? Oh, very cool, dude. Dude, you just toss him the projectile. Oh wait, no, I got no, one. No, you got, you got him one the other time. Kick, kick, kick. It's not that bad, it just... I don't know, just... I just fucking suck now. Can't do anything, dude. You got combos down before. I know, I just... I don't know what happened, I just can't... NOW! <laughs> I don't know, I'm so tempted to just stop playing on stick and go back to controller, because I'll be just like a thousand <laughs> times better. But, it's just a matter of like, I just have to put, I have to put way more hours into practice. I just don't have the time. It's like frustrating. Because I can make, I can make like, you know, I can increase my skill, but it's just, it takes so much longer to fucking learn the strings and get, get, uh, better at just fucking, I'm definitely, like, obviously I'm worlds better than when I started with it, but, uh, I don't know, just learning how to use my character and learning how to use the fight stick. T-Super, dude! Are you ready? Oh, T-Super's back! Let's go. I feel like we fight this person every night. You'll get used to it. Quit fiddling with your stick and go back to finger buttons. Is the is it the left hand that's adjusting or your right hand? Uh, well, I've been like, I've been messing with like different stuff. Like this is the first day that I'm trying to use dash as a button too. So like I'm also, mankind. I'm also like kind of switching up the. So instead of standard where like my fingers are a little bit as well. My pinky's on like dash. No. Uh, it was I what I was what I was doing before that was really hard 
However, I wasn't adjusting to it, is dashing with the stick, like being able to tap it. I was dropping a lot of combo pressure and a lot of, like, corner pressure, because I just, like, with... I wouldn't tap the to the side fast enough uh, with the stick. And uh, the, the right hand with the buttons is better, definitely, than, like, adjusting to the stick, I think. But still, sometimes... Sometimes my fingers will like go out of place, and then I'll be like trying to burst or something like that, and I'll just be on the complete wrong button. But yeah, I found that like I make I, I get better by like going into practice mode. The the thing is that I know Chris doesn't like that, and I know like like we can't play two player if I'm just practicing, and it's not gonna be fun on the stream. And I don't have any other time to practice besides the weekend. I work all the time and we stream all the time. But I want to get better at this game, and I don't. I'm, not, I'm like not really having fun with it anymore with the stick when we stream it because I just suck. And I just want to get better, and I know that playing online isn't the way to do it. I hate this. So I don't know. We we were trying to play like other games. Too, to like so my hands got more used to it so of you two you two have been roomies forever are you common law i don't know actually that's a good question i don't know if that exists in uh in our state okay. training mode do be key to breaking plateaus yeah Common law is like you get benefits of being married if you live together for a long enough. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know if they have that in the States, but they have that in France, I know, and probably other European countries. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah. Let's rock and go! You're slow. What's your state? The state of being chill in a hot tub? <laughs> They've always had several other roommates too while living together, so probably not. Abby, I don't I don't even think that exists uh, in the US. I think that's I think that's only in uh I think that's only in other countries. Or at least at least the uh you can, uh, at, at least in France, I think you can be common law without, like, like, you can have multiple roommates and still be common, like, in a, uh, common law relationship with one of your roommates if you want to. I don't know how it works here, though. Prayer hands is the best anti-air. Yeah, agreed. I forgot that. Oh, I can't grab when she does that. Uh... Sorry, you got a couple, couple more hits. Is T Super the one that gives us? Oh, there we go. Oh my Let's god, snap. dude. She must be pissed. Yeah, I would. Because if one of you dies horribly in a decapitation accident involving three rabid monkeys and a flaming tire, does the other one get all your video games? Asking the real questions here. That's a good question. I don't know who would get all my shit if I died. <laughs> To be honest, I don't even know, uh, I don't even know what video games are. There's probably some that are mine and that I would know are mine, but it'd be really hard to figure everything out. She's, uh, she's putting you in the corner. Are the video games common law? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, double, double KO. KO! 
Yeah, I don't. That's a good question. I have no idea if that exists in the US. If it does, it's definitely not anything compared to being married. Oh, shit. Well, I'm meant to be perfect. Jeez. Damn, she knows her shit. Maybe we should tell. We should make T Super our rival. He should. I don't like this. Oh, yikes! Yikes, dude. She's on fire. Holy fuck. Ooh, I like how her boots have the paws on the bottom of them. That is nice. All right, one one. Oh, there it is. Oh, big pun. Oh wow, that was like these people do like keep her on the wall, dude. Yeah, they purposely. do. Yeah. Purposely. We're getting good, man. Dude, she does the same thing every time. She does that to go in. Hi, buddy. I know she's close on what. Oh fuck, I keep going for that. This is interesting, she canceled. We break out. We got this dude. Up here. Break out. Sorry. Oh shit. Holy fuck, dude. She does like the crazy mix up. Yeah, she's got some nutty mix up. Oh man, I should make her my rival, dude. Can you? Wait, hold on. What? You hungry? Uh, yeah, we'll see. I think you just go to. She went off. Can you go to recent players, maybe? Yeah, how do you go to... is it... do you have to exit the current lobby? No... Player match menu... Or maybe you do have to exit the lobby. Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Well... Wait, is this... You had to, yeah, do you look at her data or whatever? Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure. Jeez. Takes a year and a half. Can you exit out of this though or not? I don't think so. <laughs> That's alright. I, I mean, I think this is the only way. I think this is the only way you can do it. I'm pretty sure. If we want to make her a rival. I better not buffer my circle input. Oh no. That would be so dumb. That would be the dumbest thing if the, you hit the O button that it instantly takes you out. Jeez. Just to look at someone's profile? Yep. Yeah, they really need to upgrade their net worth. I mean... I guess I never do this, but... They need some help from Bezos. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. T super, okay. She plays anyone else? She does play as oh wait no. no. Oh she doesn't even have gold boots. Just Giovanna. Alright. So what do I do? Current floor, eight. How do I make her arrival? Uh L2, useful function. Wait a second. If you hit 
you hit L2, it doesn't do anything. There it is. Follow, maybe? Uh, I thought there was a rival. Yeah, go back to the main menu. Well, now we're followed her. We followed her, so. Go back, go back. Go back out of this? Yeah, back out of this. It's in the main, it's in the, I think it's in the floor menu. Oh shit, my arm's in, in, in the water. What is it, one of these? No, like leave, leave this. Leave this place. Yeah. Leave this place, select floor, and then it should be on the right. It should say, rival. There are no rivals currently playing. Dude, I don't know how to do it. It doesn't even show him in the follow list. I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. Alright, I'm done with this. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Alright, there you go. Yeah, I, 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 it's a confusing, dude. I don't, I don't know how that works. This T super again. Is that him? No. Oh, I was gonna say, oh shit, it's T super. T super, a good matchup. Oh, this little fucking. Are you ready? ready? Oh, I thought it was him. I don't know why. I was just like, I saw his name. Oh, it's not the same name. Per You're playing as Pot, dude. Oh. oh, I didn't even switch anything. I It's all you, yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't switch anything. Fuck. Whoopsie daisy. My B. Okay. Well, I, I was like rushing because I was like, oh, we only have someone. Yeah, I know. What the? F I've never seen this one before. What the fuck? That's sick. Uh -oh. <laughs> might be what's what? causing me it? to not learn anything. What? Because I probably would go down if you weren't playing. And it's obvious that we can go back up very easily, right? Yeah. So, like, if I fought against worse people, then I would get more experience. So I see going down as a good thing. <laughs> Oh, 
My apologies. Oh, oh my Come God. on! Just make that unblockable, dude. The unblockable grab. Alright, there you go, dude. Dual two. Let's rock. The upper thing is also plus on block, so we can't attack after that. I don't know why I tried to attack him on plus on block again. Oh. Ah! It was a good. I I felt like that was a good. That was a good uh, try there. She could have jumped into that. Let me just kick out of that. Ah, oh, man. Oh, pray for me. Put you down. Uh, you cancel their super. Up here. You're slow. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, you tried to grab. No, I tried to use my other super. Oh. And I fucked up. Hey, no. I only did it once and didn't do the second you know? time. But down, oh down yeah, and... it's like when I throw my swords. Yeah. All right, one more time. One more time. Yeah, I think she gets a hit on me. First. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, any decent player, if you get hit in this game, it's. Can't attack after that up here. Can't attack after that. Yeah, remember. Can't attack after that. Even though it makes it seem like. Didn't have to by me. Up here. Oh, the. No! I tried to use my. Uh, yeah, I, I saw it. God damn it, dude. Oh, there it is! Let's go, guys. Every time, dude, I hear the match. There you go. Oh, what the fuck did you get? Plus on block, baby. Everything, everything's plus on block. That's how I feel when I play you. When you play, when you play, play Temkin. Oh. 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 Get him! Oh, yeah, <laughs> baby! Got him that time. She had, like, no... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's good, because I think it has such a wide grab range. All the little, like, special angle plus. Yeah, I borrow you? 
Sam gets to try now. Jeez. That girl gives me a run for my money, dude. Yeah, I... It's weird. I I don't feel threatened very much by Giovanna. Yeah, he needs different characters. Yeah, the matchup. Yeah. I get very scared. Because I, I, I don't know. This plus on blocks, dude. I feel like the the thing with Giovanna and, and me is that I just like jump. I just try and do like the bait jump or whatever. Oh, it tells us what Super is doing in the corner now. Where? Oh. Are you ready? That's cool. Tells us what our friends are doing. Anyone else that has this game that we can follow and stalk you in this game? And see what you're up to and fight you. Come on, Kai. Come on, guy, Kai. T Senjo. Is he gonna do it? I bought an air fr air fryer to eat healthier. It's working so far, but eating fried air really doesn't tr taste great. Damn, dude. That's when you gotta get the... Fuck, I don't have any jokes. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't got the what joke. What the fuck? He accepted him. People don't like Ram. Are you ready? There you go. You got this. <laughs> okay. Everything is going to be fine. I'm scared. <laughs> It's most Pallone. He's gonna he's gonna rap at me and I'm gonna get scared. Oh no! <laughs> not most Pallone! Man Duel one. So we've got the left skin. Oh uh, yeah. The left skin is gonna Back off. Do you think you can win that? Look at this guy, dude! He doesn't know what the block button is. See? Doesn't know. Okay, blocked a little. Figure it out. Oh, it. God. oh the lag, the frames are dropping up and down. And right. Oh god, the rollback player. I'm scared. Oh, he's on the wall, he's up in there. He gets air priority. Oh. Oh, oh. You gotta be scared, you gotta be scared of triple jumps. You have two meters of bar. And oh. there, there it is. There it is. The boy doesn't have much health. One more hit, and he's already at a quarter. See? What is going on, dude? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I just don't know anyone. I see. It's like a jumping competition. Uh, you gotta watch out for his alpha blade. Come to Mont, you grab him. Spread you. Then see Mont come on him. You got. Oh, you got one bar of tench. I tried to do my soup, wake up super once, and I. Got fucked. Three. Yeah, these rollback frames aren't great. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. Dude, he's teleporting! Oh, jeez! Ah! <laughs> it's a little scary to be playing a chip that teleports. You didn't get your sword, you didn't have to touch it. Oh, god. 
I don't know where he is, dude. I, 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 I... Oh, that sucks so bad, dude. You're playing on PC, dude. You were like three frames, dude. Dude, I feel like we're both having a terrible time right now. I'm not playing this guy again. <laughs> Can go home now. Yeah, don't know. Let's go. No. I I'm sorry, dude. I can't. That's literally unplayable. That was uh that was it's... Lag Town USA, dude. Blame the beast. That was I'm sorry, dude. It's like what? Wanna... Maybe I don't know. Could it be that it's like only on our end or some for some reason? I don't know. Is this the same Giovanna? No. Nope. Fighting another Geo. The Geos are out tonight. Are you ready? Dammy. Dammy Sakura Light. Dammy Sakura Light. It's, uh, it's the new beer, dude. The Dammy Sakura Light. The Dammy Sakura a light. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Ready, dude? I'm, it's the winner's mindset right now. Winner's mindset, guys. The Sam Habit. Let's fuck him up. Yeah, I want to see if this Remember works. how aggressive I used to get? Does this still work? Oh, it works. Man, Look at this. Who will win? Duel the Bow Bros or the Online Let's Warrior? The Bow Bros is playing as uh, the girl with the swords. Uh, the Online Warrior is playing with the doggy. I mean, girl with doggy. There it is. I heard that. Yeah, that. <laughs> the panic of, uh, of uh, the thing that they tell you not to do. Yeah. The same does. Oh my god, dude. He's playing. He's not really playing aggressively, dude. Oh, well. It's because I'm, I'm like. She, I'm guessing her jumpins or whatever. Remember, everything she does is plus on block. She's never gonna hit it. Maybe after that one. Not that one. Not that one. You even got your gold first. <laughs> yeah. You have your first, by the way. I do. Knowledge my defeat. Slap. Well. True, but a jaguar cub might be stronger. True, but a jaguar cub might be stronger. Dual one. It's probably normal. Let's rock. Well, you just. Pretty coward. Okay. Well. I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. You got two meters? Uh, Damn dude, Geos are getting uh getting good at this game. That's what I need to do. People just walk up to me and I see them. But then I feel like if I jump they hit me and I gotta die. Here we go. Okay. 
Well, I did, I did some, something good there. I at least did my little combo. I mean, that's hey, two, no, that's isn't two Iwasu, out of three, right? You know? Yeah. The online warrior. I know I suck. Okay, guys, I get it. Dual one. Let's rock. Sam doesn't suck. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Off day. Yeah. Off fucking. Yeah. Sounds like off fucking uh, controller. Controller did. There, but I. That's okay. Let's rock. Have to cancel culture this person. Pretty gallant. Up here. Red still. Not good. Here. I, I literally tried to hold towards her when she jumped over me and it still didn't work. I don't know how to block that. You weren't blocking the wall, were you? behind her all right there's one win we can go home now let's go feeling okay about some of those games or some of those plays feeling okay oh man yeah Geo's a little I love how it shows you beating them ooh a may there it is. It says, oh no, no, it's gone. Keeps changing. Ch -ch changing. I'd rather fight an Eno than an Axel. Even yeah. though my, even though my matchup is better against Axel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like Axel. I don't think I've ever fought one actually. Really? We're not with Pot yet. I fought him with the. Uh, oh yeah. Chip. I mean. Can you just like hammer fall into him and can he do anything to stop stop it? I don't know. I feel like he has something. I feel like he could do like the jump back and like go boop boop or something. Yeah. What? Woo! Let's rock. You know it's, uh, I don't know, you know it has some crazy shit, dude. 
She has like mix-ups as in you have to like watch up and down and all around dude. Like walk low and then walk high, walk low and walk high. Strike them down! Help out! Okay, she wasted like almost a full tension bar for you using a full tension bar. And you got your sword back. You got this. A bar and burst. Let's begin. Fuck. Nice. Ah, yeah. time I get a Oh, 
There you go. On the other side. talk after this. After Sam wins. Sad. But you still have another shot. The final round. Remember, I'm the one who has COVID. Oh shit, dude. How's it hanging, dude? Are you still feeling all right? of isolation and then you get to go back out in the world all right where's the mouse where's the, the mousey mouse mouse dude the, where's the mouse when you need him where's dead mouse I need one more chance oh baby let me show you I need one more chance. Oh, baby, let me show you. I need one more chance. Baby, let me show you. I need two more chances. Oh, baby, let me show you. I need three more chances. Oh, oh baby, baby, let me show you. I need four more chances. Oh, baby, let me show you. I need more chances. I need more chances. Yeah, baby, let me show you. Baby, let me show you in the back seat of the corner. <laughs> Baby, let me show you in the back seat of your corner. <laughs> in the back seat of me, show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. <laughs> um, wow, we're horrible people. So, baby, let me show you in the backseat of me showing you. Let me show you in the backseat. In the backseat, let me show you. <laughs> Oh God! Hey, <laughs> hey! I just want to show you something. <laughs> all right, 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 all right. Now it's uh, love talk time, baby. Love talk, baby, big we cock. We haven't, we haven't done this in a hot year. Two years, even. Let me refresh, see if anything new happened. These, this notification? No. Oh. We just got, uh, ah, oh, okay, thank you. By, uh, the Sky is Blue XO. The Sky is Blue XO, dude. You heard it here first. You have to be fine with being single before you date. Wait a second, dude. I would, I... On my phone. Did I miss the wee wee swinging? 
No, you came right at the right time, dude. Right at the right time. It's love talk, baby. Love talk, baby love talk. There's a there so there was a funny one. Wait. Everyone so, there's so many like, should you love yourself before dating? There was one that was like hey. How little should I hate myself? Wait, what? How little should I hate myself before I go date? <laughs> How little? My boyfriend's member is too big. Boyfriend's member. Uh, I think that's like a, like a soft flex. Where the fuck is, uh, dude, there is one. You found one. Oh shit, y'all doing, y'all didn't ping Discord for love talk. I almost missed it. Oh yeah, you know what we should, you know what I should have a button that pings Discord saying love talk. Damn, y'all really love love talk, huh? A lot of people like love talk. If I'm cut was here, he would be like, this is the thing I wait for. <laughs> Where is, dude, so, all right, I can't find it. There's too many, I, there's too many topics tonight. There's too many topics. What's going on there? What? Okay, we're good. All right, there's another one similar to this that I saw, I think, yesterday, and it was funny that this one says, it's like, do you really need to... Do you really need to uh, like yourself before dating? Yeah. And uh, people are like, I mean, you can still date, but uh, you know, most people like put their insecurities on others and when you don't like yourself. And then he's like, well, I can't get a date anyways. And, I'm like, oh, <laughs> and then the guy's like, God. and he's like, this is exactly why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've had that we've had that conversation with people before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had it a billion times. Yeah, if you if you if you hate if you're not liking yourself, uh, it ain't gonna it isn't gonna help when you're going to be dating people. Yeah. If uh yeah 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 it's pretty much it. It's it's like a simple concept that uh, people a lot of people either like lie to themselves about it or like deny the fact that it's like a thing or whatever yeah they'll be like no nah, come on that's not true they think their problems will be solved once they're in a relationship yeah it's uh no it's... if anything your problems get amplified <laughs> you get extra problems yeah and yeah you not only have to take care of yourself you have to take care of your significant other as well well not necessarily take care of them but like yeah you have more well, yeah, there's, you're, yeah, what I, I didn't, yeah, I mean in, in a way that you have, like, more to think about. Yeah, exactly. It's not just like, oh, I need a girlfriend. It's like, oh, fuck all these things that require attention for a relationship that I yes. have to be good at. Yeah. Ah! Then you just get, you make the noise that when Donkey Kong jumps on a crocodile. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I wish I had that. Noise. That's a good sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Men do not make these critical mistakes on dating apps. <laughs> All right. Do we want to know what these mistakes are, Sam? Let's hear the female perspective, Chris. Oh, this is a female perspective. Let's go. Hi, everyone. I'm a 24-year-old female. This is a fun post where I'll state some reasons that I usually swipe left on men. Ooh, focused on online dating, our specialty. Let's Let, see. Let's go. Let's see if she's got what it takes to pass the Boboro test. This is not an attack, but rather some insight about what goes on in a woman's mind, or just my mind. Men, please don't post pictures with friends if they are taller or more attractive than you. <laughs> you could be a 10 yourself, but if you are standing next to an 11, we get disappointed that your friend isn't the one whose profile it is, and we swipe left. If you're a 6 foot, make sure not to have a picture with someone 6'3", because it naturally makes us compare you to your friend. Wow. Okay, so this girl is uh, very superficial right from the start. Wow. <laughs> I mean... But here's the thing, is like, okay, I would say the same thing for men. Like, if you have girlfriends that are hotter than you, like, we will acknowledge that. But it's not gonna be like we swipe left on you because it's like, oh, she has a friend who's hotter than her? Alright, I'm gonna swipe left. It's like, 
No, she is wrong. You, don't, <laughs> you can't tell me that you swipe left on every guy who had a group picture with another attractive male in it. Across the board. Yeah, if there's like one picture with he has attractive friends, and then the rest are pictures of him, you're not gonna swipe left because, oh, his friends are more attractive than he is. There's no way. There's no way. For the tall thing, it makes him look short. Alright, well, I guess I fucked up. Because, <laughs> like, all my friends are taller than me. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. That's it's, it's something that, like, I, as a guy, uh, like, I feel like we do the same thing with girls. Like, if, if, like, okay, and here's another big difference. Your main profile picture. If your main profile picture is a group photo, then it gets your hopes up. Yeah. If you're not the hottest one. That, yeah. Because then you're like, oh, I hope it's this girl. And then you swipe to the next picture, and it's her friend who's less attractive. That, I agree with, is a no-go. Yeah, I agree. But if you have a group photo... And you're not the most attractive person in it. Like, you're probably gonna have hot friends, you know, if you're a charismatic person, right? Yeah. I just hate the guys who post... Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's a bad thing. Yeah, that's a bad thing. You don't want to be the fucking CIA agent trying to figure out who the fuck is, <laughs> yeah. uh, is, is the person that you're trying to, you know, <coughs> who the fuck this person is. Yeah. On the... <laughs> yeah. But I do, I, I, I agree with you guys that, like, if I see a girl in group photos and I don't know which one it is because you have to figure it out and then you find out it's the less attractive one, then it is disappointing and there's a higher chance that you will swipe left. Yes. Yes, I agree. Yeah. I definitely agree. I agree that. with you guys on that one. Yeah. But if it's, like, you know, two pictures down the line, they have a group photo, it's like, oh, she, some of her friends are shorties then uh, it's not a big deal. No. I'm like, oh, maybe, uh, you know, jump ship. <laughs> 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 you can uh, get in with one and then swing to the other. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, that's probably what she meant, I assume. The tall thing, uh, it is what it is. That's like you know? more of, I don't know, it's preference. Per per personal preference. Uh... I guess I have the same thing. I, I mean, I, I'm i less attracted to girls who are taller than me. Just like girls probably feel the same way about me. Honestly, I'm not going to... Damn. I'm not gonna, I kid. I kid. I'm not going to know <laughs> from looking at a picture if there's a girl that's like tall. Right? Like if a girl's like kind of high and one's low, like I, I'm not going to know their fucking height. Yeah, but it's more attract... I, I understand like for the girls, it's like more attract attractive. Like there are certain aspects that are more attractive than others to both sexes and height is something that's attractive to women yeah objectively right. i guess not like it's like a deal breaker or anything but you know height is height is a thing height is a thing um yeah for the love of goodness do not have a female friend on your profile we'll assume it's your ex period all right i disagree with this one also disagree with this one i disagree with this so, if you have a group photo, <coughs> and you're hanging out with friends, and you have a females in that photo, this is a good sign that you actually know how to communicate to the opposite sex. I think this is a good thing. If, yeah. I, if I see a girl that has, like, guy friends in their pictures, I'm not going to think it's their ex. I mean, unless, like, it's, like, one of those, like, their faces are right next to each other, smiling. Like, then I'll be like, okay, maybe it's her ex or brother. That's, uh, that's a little weird, but all right. Yeah. That sounds like she's projecting insecurity. Maybe? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Could be. Could be. I don't think there's anything wrong with having, you know, the opposite sex in he, your photo. I think it's actually less weird... If you have a picture of yourself that looks really photogenic, like you look good in it, and it is with your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend, I would rather you use that and just be like, as long as you're just like not weird about it, you know? Like, as long as you just don't go out with them and that's all they're talking about. 
Like, if it's just, like, if it's, like, a picture of them together in some cool place or something like that, and she thinks it's, like, a good photo of her, it doesn't, I, I don't give a fuck. I'm here for her, not her ex-boyfriend. It's also true. Yeah. But I guess, like, some people might think that they're, like, hung up on their ex for some reason, though. Yeah. But that, for me, is more of a, like, a red flag that you find out when you meet them or talk to them. Yeah. That's, like, more of a pickup there. It's like she had past relationship where the guy was hung up on his ex, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I find it, like, weirder if you, like, cut the picture off, you know? Oh, yeah, like, you see the I'd hand. rather just be, like, yeah, you see, like, the hand on her, on her other shoulder, and, like, there's obviously a face next to hers that she cut out. It's like, just, just own it, whatever, man. Like, it is what it is. It's, if that's the only good picture you have that's a close-up shot, use it. I'll still abuse it. Sam will abuse you. Right here first. <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh, if you are bald or balding, it's fine. There's many attractive bald men in the world. Don't try to cover it up with a hat in all your photos. It screams insecurity, and you should just embrace yourself as you are with confidence. Trust me. Um, I don't know, dude. I think some guys look good in hats. Like, some guys rock the hat style. And, and, and maybe, is she saying, like, uh... Like, some guys ha are, like, balding, or bald, and they still wear hats because they just like them. Yeah. Or they look good in them. I don't know. Yum, Vin Diesel. It's true, it's true. If I ever start going bald, I got two options. I'm either shaving my head clean, or uh, I'm gonna get fucking... Uh, Keeps. What is keeps? Keep isn't that the thing that grow to make your hair grow back or whatever? I don't know. They you can like get surgery or whatever to make your hair get come back. Nice. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, I, I agree with her. I think you should either embrace it or Yeah. Yeah. Or figure out a way around it that's more of a permanent solution. Uh but also That's when you get cool head tats. <laughs> Damn dude. I'm just gonna get my eyes tattooed on the back of my head. So nobody. So I... <laughs> <laughs> you turn around, you look at them, and then you turn around. You turn around and smile. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, damn, that would be the best. <laughs> like you try to look at someone with the back of your head. Like you could do, you could do that so often. You're, just, you could just be like walking through the grocery store. Like imagine, you could probably catch people so often because it's like something that you would look at naturally if you're behind them. And then you just... So you can just like turn around really quick <laughs> and make direct eye contact. <laughs> oh, like, man. You're in line at the cashier, like at the grocery store, and you're just sitting there. You wait like three or four seconds and then just turn around really quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a good idea. Yeah. Any dirty jokes or innuendos in the bio are automatic swipe left. Um, I guess that's a. I I never I never did anything. I always like you know, left the conversation for the innuendo. I never tried. I the bio for me was strictly like you know just talking about myself, my personality, and. I never tried to do innuendo in the bio. Yeah, the, the only thing I had, well, my profile's a little different because it was like a PowerPoint. The only thing I had was, uh, I said oh, I, yeah. I was like, okay or good sex haver as a joke because all my rest of my thing was like a huge joke. So like people would laugh at that. And plus saying like sex haver is like a, a weird weird thing to say. So yeah, yeah. it was supposed to bring out the personality. It's topical. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I was gonna say it depends on how you do it. Yeah. Like yeah. if you can do it in a way that's witty and it isn't easy to do, I feel like. No, it's not easy. It's not easy no, to no, do. No, it's not easy to pull off. Yeah, you shouldn't I you shouldn't obviously get too in depth into it, but you know, you can probably make a stupid joke here or there if you're if you're good with it. Yeah. Uh I think in the bio it's okay, but brought up in conversation it could seem like they're only after one thing. Ooh, oh, opposite. Sproster is in the opposite realm over here. Interesting. Well, Sproster, I think it depends on like, obviously how, like I would, it, 
I don't know. It really depends on how the conversation was going. But if I felt comfortable enough, I would bring up innuendo uh, only if, you know, the conversation was going there. And when I say innuendo, I'm more talking about, like, role-playing, like, kissing or something like that. Or, like, yeah, mention, like, planting the seed kind of thing. You know? I think, yeah, I think it's okay as long as, uh, like, you know, the other person is also, like, feeling it. Yeah, if you're going back and forth and stuff. Totally not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The initial conversation, you just have to be creative and personable. Yeah. And then, uh, and then try and get to the first date as soon as possible, pretty much. Like, save it for after you've talked for a while. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you sent a couple snaps. Maybe you, uh, you're chilling at the pool with friends and, you know, you show, your, show yourself off in a sure. bathing suit and that's how you start. Yeah. And then she shows herself off in the bathing suit. Ooh. And then you're like, wow, we should go swimming sometime. You can you can leave a hook out there and just be like, oh, what are you up to? Oh, I just got out of the shower. Just got out of the shower. The little, wow, <laughs> the little, the wow, the hook. The worm on the hook. The worm on the hook. And see Jeez. what she says. Sam, Sam, that's how Sam goes fishing. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the 21 year old fisherman dude <laughs> uh, if it is unclear who you are in your profile because all your pictures are with friends automatic swipe left because it is a sign of stupidity that you can't make clear and transparent which person you are when on a dating app happy swiping smiley face oh yeah this is uh this is totally true yeah that's what we were talking about earlier yeah this is yeah, yeah we already talked about it yeah yeah um yeah you know we had a little disagreement but you know she brings up some good points yeah i think she brings up good points and uh good points are always good to bring up because uh not a lot of people know them yeah <laughs> yeah it's true you would think that these would be very uh you know i'm surprised that she didn't say like guys that say hey that's uh i feel like oh uh, you know what we've been out of the game so long maybe it's like maybe, not maybe a... people don't do that anymore. maybe people don't do it anymore dude i remember that was like the biggest thing the biggest thing is like just not saying hey what do you think is common sense isn't always common knowledge yeah sproster did you uh do you ever get messages of people just saying hey do yeah you I feel like that was like one of the biggest things that people fucked up on when I was uh, when I was still doing online dating. Yeah, all the time. And see, I feel like, come on, man, you're not Freddie Mercury, okay? You can't be like, hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> can't be, uh, I can't be like the guys from Chainsmoker and be like, hey, <laughs> I'm doing just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. It's true. You can't <laughs> You can't say hey. You can't say hey. You gotta come up with something more interesting. You gotta yeah, fucking say something about it. I always say say something about they have a bio for a reason, they have pictures for a reason. Yeah. Say something about it, you know? Yeah, and if they don't have like enough or any information, I or like they just have their like Instagram handle. I, I'll usually say, like, uh, you know, I'll just go in real aggressive. Say, hey, you piece of shit, why the fuck don't you have anything in your profile? This one? Yeah, I mean, did I, yeah. Uh, that way I know I put an effort into people who actually read my bio. Exactly. Like, the bar is so low already, it's crazy. Like, you literally just have to make a reference to somebody's bio. To get them to start talking to you. Well, actually, you probably have to make it interesting, too. But you get bonus points. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Alright. I mean, that's good. That's good. That was good info. Good info. Why um, does everyone talk about how toxic their ex was, but never how toxic they were? Ooh. True. True. This guy's got a hot take. This is a hot take. Let's see. Is there anything else? This is nice and short. 
After all, everyone can't be toxic. That doesn't make sense. Because we are we're never, never toxic. toxic. Yeah, exactly. We're uh, perfect. Yeah. Is that is that like the joke he's making? After all, everyone can't be toxic. Yeah, like saying that, like, yeah, that's the joke. He's yeah. like being. He should have put slash s after. Or something. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I mean, we can see what people say. Yeah. Let's see. Part of growth is realizing where you went wrong and what you did wrong. Whether they don't want to admit it or are too naive to see it, no one is perfect. We all have our toxic traits and flaws. Oh, nay nay dog. What is this conversation about? Uh, people talking about the how toxic their ex was, but never talk about how toxic they were. Yeah. It's because people like to put the blame on somebody else for a failed relationship. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Usually if somebody's toxic, it, you know, it's usually one person or the other. Also, Nene Dog, you can write something on our bodies if you want. From last stream. <laughs> oh! oh, God! Well, let me tell <laughs> you about my toxic wife. Oh boy! Oh, is this thing coming up? Oh, it was almost there. It was almost there. Almost there! Dude, I love how... Oh, never mind. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Yeah, jeez, I'm thinking the freaking uh, green screen's falling off the chair. Oh, shit. Who uh, else was it? It was Nene. Nene, uh, Ratboy, and Francis that get to write something. Alright, so if Nene wants to write something or he can leave it for tomorrow or... We have it, we have it in our log. Okay. Well, watching reality dating shows with someone you're dating is a good way to learn more about their habits and expectations. Seems like an activity, uh... Somebody, uh... Somebody Save I know would enjoy doing. Save mine. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> well, Nene, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a deep conversation. That is a, that's a deep, deep conversation. Marriage is a lot more difficult than... Uh, well, actually, it isn't. You just get fucking divorced. But... Uh, nah, it's more... Yeah, you have to... It's, it's, like, like, little... the it's like the emotional uh, thing. that you, It's like kind of hard to, you know... Have the, you know, conversations and stuff. Communicate. Yeah. Well, usually a marriage implies that it's like a more serious relationship. Yeah. So, you know, it's usually more difficult. To, like, it's more more of a permanent commitment. It should be, at least. Yeah. But yeah, you gotta, yeah. Toxicity usually comes from people just not communicated. Thank God my wife is watching Digit right now and not listening. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, R.I.P. Erica. Oh, jeez. Watching reality dating shows with someone you're dating is a good way to learn about their habits slash expectations. I don't know. I never watched uh, dating shows. Um, reality dating shows. Isn't that like The Bachelor and stuff like that? Maybe. Is that what that means? Maybe. This is sh dating around. What? Uh, I guess I don't know. I, I mean, I, I have no uh, input on this really because it's like I never would do this. Yeah. Um, well, I was I was just I was just saying because Abby likes to watch a lot of that kind of stuff. You almost were on one. This is true. I was almost on. What is it? Marriage at first sight. Or Marriage whatever. at first sight, dude. That was that was gonna be hilarious. Jersey Shore just hook up with one night stands. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the the trashy ones are wouldn't be good because actually, were they gonna like mention like, what are you guys just gonna talk about like the things that they do wrong and right in the show, and that's like how you get the knowledge of how good they are at like relationships? Oh no, she's saying like their expectations and habits. Like this show called Dating Around, it looks like it's like a uh, it looks like it's a thing where. It's like people just dating with a camera on them or whatever. And uh, it's good, like, it, br it just brings topics of, like, you know, 
what to expect in certain scenarios. Like, oh, would you do that? Or would you be on, like, how would you feel about this situation? Or oh, I see. If I did this or that or whatever. And it just, like, gives, it gives, like, you know, made up scenarios where it would make it so you have, like, topics to talk about, about hypotheticals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that also getting you in trouble. <laughs> But, like, on, like, what, are, they, are you doing this, like, on a first or second date or something? No, 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 no. It says with someone you're dating. Oh, with someone you're dating. So I, I assume it's somebody you're exclusive, exclusive with, with, at yeah. least. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, if, like, the person's not into watching this show, like, you're not gonna <laughs> fucking watch the show, I feel like. I don't watch reality dating shows. Marriage or mortgage doesn't count. I don't, yeah, I don't think that counts. I just figured you would like this stuff because it's, like, reality TV kind of thing uh but uh honora surprisingly actually loves that shit but she likes the trashy ones <laughs> she likes she likes um uh, they have one in france called temptation island and it's literally like 12 couples and there's one island that's all male and one island that's all female and then they have uh, 12 of the opposite sex that are single, like, models that are really attractive that just try and fuck and break up their relationship. And the last couple standing wins, like, a prize at the end of the season. And, of course, they do things like they have, like, cameras all over each, like, island, and they have, like, they'll, like, show the girlfriends, like, what the boyfriend did the previous night just to trigger her. Yeah. And then she'll go fuck the guy, and then She'll, they'll show the footage of the girl fucking the guy. Oh then, my god! <laughs> to the boyfriend, and then they'll, like, every week they get together at the end of the show and they just yell at each other. <laughs> oh, man, it's what good a, what, stuff. A, what a fucking show, dude. Show literally it, it is drama, dude. Yeah, but there there's also a bunch of rumors about it just being, like, staged, too. Like, like people, like, the couples will, like, just be friends, like, male and female friends that just, like, join the show. Like, yeah, oh yeah. Just like without actually, like, oh yeah, we're dating. Yeah, and then they're yeah. just gonna have sex with people. Yeah. And then they just have to act like they're mad. Yeah. It's so, yeah. a smart thing to do. At least you won't die alone. What's up, um, docs? Um, docs. How's it going, man? Nope. Supermarket Sweet is more my style. I like Supermarket Sweet. It's a fun show. I, I do, I do like it in, in, uh, you know, what is it? Uh,. In portions. Yeah, in know. portions. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's pretty good. I used to watch the dating show on MTV called Next. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, dude, I dude, remember I Next. Actually, yeah, I watched that. Dude, that, that's that kind of brutal. Dude, sometimes, sometimes <laughs> they the walk off. They walk off the bus and the person just says, Next. Next. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. <laughs> that's, that's back when people didn't get fucking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> People are always just like, well, you know what? I guess I'm ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that man. That was really good. That was a good oh, show. That dude. was funny. That I, was yeah, a funny show. That was a funny show. I, I think I, did. I watched a couple episodes of that. Yeah. Oh, man. And they always would have, like, the shittiest intros. Like, yo, man. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, 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 don't even, I can't even interact. I couldn't even do, like, a intro. The chick would take one look at the guy, and before he could speak, she would just say <laughs> next. <laughs> that's just pure, that's pure destruction. Oh! Francis! Francis is here. Francis and Nene, you guys get, have the option to write on us now or another stream. It's up to you. Yeah, Nene wanted to see this. Okay. All right. Don't love your, don't love yourself just so you're ready for a relationship. Love yourself for your uh, uh, own <laughs> mental and emotional well-being. I saw a few by both male and female OPs on the dating subreddit saying how they want to love themselves so they can be ready for a relationship. One female OP I had a long conversation with it seemed like her end goal was to should loving yourself not to be more appealing to prospective romantic partners. Wait. Wait, what? It seemed like her end goal to loving herself was a relationship. But that is not the point of self-love. 
You should love yourself not to be more appealing to your prospective partners. I would also like to mention, you can dislike yourself and be in a relationship, but then you still dislike yourself and are in a relationship. Okay. I mean, you can, like, there's a big, there's some gray area here, you know? Like, you don't have to, like, I hate myself. Like, you can be, like, you know, not happy with the way you look or, like, trying to change the way you act or something like that. You can be working on yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. But, like, yeah, it's, like, it, I think people are taking it, like, you can't date anyone if you are unhappy with yourself. Like, it's a, not allowed. Yeah. Classic black and white internet problem. Yeah. Like, yeah, dude, you can, you can still date people, but, you know, like, as long as you understand that, like, if there's, like, problems arriving in the relationship due to, like, something that you keep bringing up that you're reflect like projecting onto the other person then you might have an issue yeah have an issue grab a tissue dude yeah yeah and nut into it <laughs> saving mine probably will have you write wow <laughs> wow wow oh yeah abby has one too abby has one too i have some writing bank too with the bits yesterday yep where is the line between loving yourself and being a narcissist? Ah! Uh, um, <laughs> Dogecoin? <laughs> That's... If you hold Dogecoin, then you're allowed to love yourself and be a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> um... I think... It... Like, being a narcissist is basically... Saying... Like, it's like getting... Oh man, what's the, what's the word? Isn't it like being obsessed with yourself? It's like being obsessed with yourself. It's like if you got rejected, you want... It's like you want the issue and everyone else is the issue. Yeah. Because I was gonna say, like, a lot of people look at narcissism as, like, loving or liking yourself too much. But, like, everybody does to an extent or even has to because it's, like, a way that we keep our self-confidence. Yeah. You know? Like, when you get a haircut or whatever and you're like oh damn i look good like that's okay yeah that's okay or you get like you know a new outfit some new some new uh drip and you fucking you're like feeling yourself like damn dude these new kicks are sick they go so good with these jeans and this t-shirt like that's totally good i think it's like when you think you're higher than everyone else oh like, dude like laughing yeah <laughs> Definitely, he definitely has narcissism. Yeah. <laughs> I really... But that, to me, like, to be a, such a high performer, you almost have to put yourself in that mindset. Like, it might not be good for your personal life, but, like... I feel like you can do it without... I mean, like, look at... It is know, Armada. very rare that you have people that are top performers and aren't at least somewhat not narcissistic, I think. Yeah. And I'm not talking about just, like, people who are in, like you know, top tier. I'm saying, like, number one consistent performers. Yeah. They have to, like, keep telling themselves, like, I am the best, I am the best, I am the best. Or I don't... I think you could even say the opposite. You could say, I'm not the best and I can get better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Well, yeah, yeah. No, it's true. It's true. I had one chick break up with me saying, it's not <laughs> you, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a common cop-out. Yeah, that's a common cop-out. Yeah. You know, I think they're just trying to politely exit the relationship. Yeah. That's somebody just saying, like, oh, I don't really want to tell you, or it's not worth the energy to tell you or explain to you all the fucked up things that are in this relationship. Yeah. Or maybe he doesn't want to go and, uh, you know, see the shit herself. Chicks, man. <clears throat> Chickens. Chickens, man. <laughs> Alright, we can move on here. Alright, moving on. Moving and grooving. The difference between putting yourself first and prioritizing your own needs and having an inflated ego and a, tox and a toxic need for attention. It's the difference between putting yourself first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, toxic need for attention, yeah. Well, that's the thing, like, yeah, I, I don't... 
Yeah, it's true. I don't know. Like, I really do think, like, somebody like Leffen, who's, by the way, is a really good fighting game player, who, uh, he started in Smash Melee, and now he plays the fighting game that we play, Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, he's, like, the top performer in Europe right now. And, uh, he definitely has, like, a, you know, he's, he's pretty cocky, you could say. But I don't, I don't know if I would count that as narcissism, because maybe Sproster is right. Maybe it's more like he's just really confident in himself, that it comes off as, like, being cocky. Yeah. Because <clears throat> that might not be, like, toxic behavior, it's just, like, winner's <clears throat> mindset. Yeah. And it's all that's also I think different from like relationship narcissism. Like narcissism in relationship, you could also be the exact opposite <clears throat> and think you're a narcissist if you're also like needy as well. Yeah. Um because now you're you're thinking that you deserve more in in whatnot and you're not getting it. Yeah. So it's more you're thinking it's all about yourself. I I am a nice guy. Yeah, it's the yeah, yeah. nice guy mentality yeah. kind of embodies that. I'm a nice guy. I have the one quality that every default human has. I'm nice, so you have to be nice to me. Yeah, they play the sense of their own importance. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Exactly, as Drupal would say. <laughs> <laughs> Drupal was here. Uh, alright. Uh, how long does it take for you guys to finally move on? Never. Never! Yes. Never! <laughs> Never! <laughs> uh, loving someone doesn't mean you'll have them. You just have to move on. So how do you guys do it? Is that it? That's it. Uh, I think, uh, finding... <clears throat> Yet to kind of, like, I mean, I don't know what it, you know, if it's like a breakup thing, but like uh, finding uh, new things to do that you used to replace that time, like hanging out with your significant other or whatnot, uh, like, you know, trying out new hobbies, doing, figuring out something new about yourself, that's always a good thing. But uh, obviously it's, you know, you don't, you don't heal in a fucking day, you don't heal in a month. Well, you I mean, you could, but I mean, it takes time. Yeah, shit takes time, man. But, yeah, as long as you're, you know, working on yourself, I think that's the, the most important part. Yeah, you just gotta fill the space that used to be. Yep, exactly. Um, and obviously, I, I don't know. I usually, like, try, like, you take a little bit of time off after, depending on the relationship or whatever, but I feel like also, like, Eventually, dating does fill that void as well. Like, dating people. Yeah. And going out and stuff like that. Like, that starts to take up... Like, finding another significant other, if that's your goal. Like, it usually takes a decent amount of effort and time. So that will also, once, you know, you've gotten to the point where you feel more secure about yourself... Yeah. After a relationship, when you start going out again and stuff like that and, and looking for people again then that, uh, that definitely takes some time, but, I don't know, just, you know, do more of the stuff that you liked, uh, before. And that's why it's important also that you need to, while you're in a relationship, still, you know, be an individual and... Yes, yeah. Have hobbies and friends and things to do and people to talk to and... Yeah, don't just, uh, you don't have your life revolve around one person. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Abby, for... Dropping the D chord. The D chord, baby. Changing the attitude about the situation, working through the emotional instead of the bottling it. Shit, this sucks, but there's more to live for. Yeah! Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Validate your feelings, but don't let them own you. Yeah. You know. Do the do the do your little talk to yourself, to your emotional self, and be like, how's it going, big guy? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Every time I try to talk to myself in the mirror, I just end up kissing myself. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Man, this hurts, but it'll be better eventually. Yeah. Yes! Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes. Yeah. 
does. Breakups always suck big donkey balls. <laughs> That's a pretty <laughs> picture, Sam. Oh, man. Just pep talking myself in the mirror, just being like, damn, dude. Is it wrong to block guys on dating apps that start off with saying you're beautiful or something similar? I mean, sure, if that's like you don't want that, then I don't, why don't. Sure, go for it. Wrong to block guys on dating apps that start off with saying you're beautiful or something similar. I mean. Yeah, if it's if it's not your thing, man. I mean, whatever, dude. Just you. you no. Know, it's one way to weed out people, I guess. Yeah. I mean. I pre. I think saying. If the only thing you say on the first message is you're beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it kind of gives off a little bit of creepy vibes, dude. Yeah, if uh, it, does, it also sounds like you don't, you, you, yeah, you uh, don't want to actually want to have like a real conversation. Like you only after them because of their looks or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This doesn't. I don't know. I think you look a little desperate, I guess. A little desperado. Do you have a Tinder experience or something similar? Yes. Yeah, we both have uh, experience online dating. Yeah. We have a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge. Yeah, online dating was uh, online dating was my uh, my thing. It was like my guilty gear. That was uh, that's that that was uh, that was what I was doing back in the day. It was just Tinder, the video game. <laughs> <laughs> Tinder the video game, dude. Oh, man. Yeah. I sometimes spent too much. Yeah, I honestly, I, sometimes I think it was too bad. It was, it was, I think it was too much. Uh, dude, I remember when Anora used to get excited when she, like, would uh, go on Tinder with you and swipe around and stuff. And she got, she got pissed whenever you didn't get matches a lot or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's yeah, like, she was like, swipe right. Yeah! <laughs> Yay! Aww. What the fuck? This is bullshit, Chris. It's not working anymore. <laughs> I remember saying, Chris, this isn't working. This sucks. This game sucks, Chris. No one likes you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thanks, Anora. <laughs> oh. oh, what's up, Clippy? You guys are so sexy. Sam a little more than Chris, but that's okay. No, that's okay. Uh, Abby was telling me I have like this little scruff thing coming out of my beard or something. I don't know. You get yeah, you get that little. Uh... I don't know what it is. It's like I don't know if it's you can see it now. Yeah, fine. I oh. like you, sweetheart. Oh. Oh. I like you. I like you. <laughs> yeah, it's each their own, dude. Chris is the honey touch, and I'm uh short, dark, and handsome. Short, dark, and handsome. And Sam has nipples. Oh yeah, I've got. If you like, <laughs> if you like a, a bit of spicy pepperoni, then uh... yeah, I got the Cheerios. It's all right. Chris got the Cheerios. The pepperoni. The pepperoni. How to start dating a sober twenty-three-year-old? Oh, oh, that's an interesting. Uh... Yeah, I mean, you honestly. I've been on uh, dates, morning dates, where you have coffee, tea. I've been on tea dates. I've actually been on tea dates at night. Not that uh, caffeine is... I don't. I, I wouldn't do that anymore because caffeine's not good at night. But... I mean, you can go and still yeah, get something can, else. Yeah, also, they have non-caffeinated tea, bruh. That's true. That's Dude, true. there's... I actually thoroughly enjoy going to tea places. Yeah, it was pretty sick. I definitely... I did a uh, you know handful of tea dates... Dude, that like that like sweet like cold brew tea is super good. Like on ice. Oof. It's wicked good, dude. It's like lemonade kinda. I don't you know? know if I had cold brew tea. Well, I mean like I don't know if it's actually cold brew to be honest. I don't know what the fuck they is do it just with like it. Iced tea? Or but like... it's just like tea that they put on ice, ice yeah. and like it tastes good. They usually add stuff to it and whatnot and it's like fruity and delicious. Oh, dude, yeah, I, I love the fucking fruity tea. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like, oh shit. You know Tivana? Yes. Yeah, Tivana. You can like, you know, make like big jugs of like iced tea. Yeah. With that shit, it's good. It's good. Yeah. It's fucking good. 
My uh, my brother's fiance is like works at a tea shop. She specializes in that stuff. It's so good. Yeah, more like chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. True. Sam's nips are bigger than Chris's. You, you know what we say about big pepperoni? Oh, Ooh. Francis. Prepared to be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and this plus is like other things. Like I, I, I've been on walks in the park. And that's a nice, easy thing. Yeah. To do. Um, I rock climbing dates. That was uh, that was big for me. I yeah. Would, sometimes I would just be like, they would be like, I never been rock climbing. I'm like, yeah. Oh, that's fun as fuck. Do it. And then they'd be scared because like I'm so weak. Oh no. And then you're like, hold on, get on my back. I'll just climb with my arms. <laughs> You just canvas with a girl on oh, your back. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. I can, I can... Canvassing was hard. But yeah, there's plenty of dates. There's plenty of dates. Uh, you can go to, like, an arcade. I remember going to Dave & Buster's. Uh, uh, yeah, I like I like activity dates. Activity dates yeah. are fun. Um, My favorite is uh, Cabin in the Woods. Nice rundown cabin in the thick forest. Uh, yes, yes! <laughs> the Cabin in the Woods dates are, are top-notch. Yeah. Nice secluded area. <laughs> you want to do an escape room for our first date? Yeah, that's a, I do that for first dates as well. Oh yeah. Um, some people say that it's not good because you 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 kind of trap the person with you for an hour. Ooh. But I say it t lets me test out their their knowledge, see how they perform on uh you know puzzles. So you're te what you're saying is you want to see how they perform under pressure. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> I try to, Whenever I also, like, I like to do the escape room thing too, but I like to, like, make it as stressful as possible. So <laughs> I, like, I see what their flight or flight fight reflexes are <laughs> as well. <laughs> just, just standing behind them screaming as they're trying to do a puzzle. Uh, the time's uh, running out! <laughs> the time's running out! Oh, the murderer's <laughs> gonna fucking kill us! <laughs> Oh my god, actually, the, the, I think one of the... <laughs> one day, I went to an escape room, I didn't know this escape room, it was like, a coffin escape room? They literally put you in a fucking coffin! With the girl? Well, you're you're in one coffin and the, the girl's in the other coffin oh. right next to you and you have a little, like, hole to talk to them through. What the fuck? And you're in the coffin for 50 minutes! <laughs> Trying to escape a coffin! Oh shit, dude! That was uh, that was intense. Chris just sticks his nose through the <laughs> hole. <laughs> it's not the best because you, yeah, I mean. Yeah, what if you need a fart? <laughs> well, you gotta let one rip, and the other person has to deal with it. Fuck no! It was honestly a fun escape room. I was. The worst part is they put a bag over your head and they cuff your oh no they cuff your hands in front of you so you have to they put you in the coffin That's with a bag crazy, and they cuffed so you have to you know take off your bag off your head and then it's complete darkness because you're in a coffin. That's nuts. <laughs> and then you have to like look around for a key in the coffin. That's crazy, dude. I actually thought it was really really fun. I was like, damn, dude. Now this is like. This is like shit you see on the TV, like the movies where you're like, Oh fuck, I gotta get out of this fucking situation! Yeah. Alright, time to find the key. That's a big fuck no for me. You ask for a hint and the announcer <laughs> just goes, It's in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that was the scariest escape room I've ever been in though. It was pretty fun though. Francis, you'll never ask a girl out. Why so? Why, why not? Damn, dude, I need to listen to more early. I haven't listened to him in a while. It's bringing, it brings your spirits up, you know? It does. It's good background music. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, it's not, it's not the easiest thing to do, but, uh, asking, asking people out in real life and, uh, and, like, talking to individuals and stuff like that, it's the best way to do it, man. It's the best way to do it. It's scariest way, but it's the best way. Yeah. You just get up in their face and ask them out. Yeah, let them know, and if you get rejected, not, nothing really bad happens to you. Nothing, you're not gonna die, you're not gonna be in any physical pain. 
You're just gonna, the person just says no. Yeah. Uh, and I guess people don't like being, some people don't like being, ha say, people saying no to them, but you know, you gotta kinda deal with it. I had a lot of girlfriends, but it always came from a friend's start. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, you, you can always start with online dating, but like, I don't know, if you go into social situations, that's obviously the best scenario. Yeah. Is like having, like talking to mutual friends and getting to know people through that. Cause you already have somebody in common that you know, it's, you, it's like the, the easy mode. Yeah. Nipples are illegal. Not in this stream, baby. Not in this stream, the nips are loose. The nips are loose and out. The never have, and never have the, hey, do you want to go out sometime? Yeah. Well, man, you know what? All it takes is a start. Yeah. You know? Like, I don't know, if, if you go to the grocery store, or if you're old enough to get groceries or whatever, but, like, just go to the grocery store, dude. If you see somebody who's cute or whatever... Look at what they're buying, and then just go go ask them about it. Like, hey, what do you make? What, what do you make with that? What do you? Uh, wh why do you like those? Just chat up conversation. Things go well. At the end of the conversation, be like, hey, I think you're pretty cool and cute. My name is Francis Carton. I'd really get like to know you. You mind if I get your number? Boom. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Boom. There it is. You can meet someone literally anywhere at a park, a bookstore, amusement parks. It's harder IRL to approach people. That's why people opt for online dating sites. Exactly. It's the safe, it's the safe option, man. It's always the safe option to just whip out your phone. It's convenient. You can always have it, but that's what makes talking to people in real life so special. Yeah. Now that there's online dating, it's actually more attractive to like go up and talk to someone because you, you show more you uh show more confidence yeah it's easier to get rejected when you're behind a screen yeah yeah exactly yeah and that, that's another thing is that i feel like people are way more honest and also like upfront about rejection as well like yeah they might lie about it and say like oh i'm sorry i have a boyfriend and then you just say okay have a nice day yeah and leave but like that mental barrier you have to or mental hurdle you have to jump to get to the next step is always difficult just bringing yourself to like you know go up and start chatting yeah yeah definitely yeah the more you do it it's totally true the more you do it the easier it gets I feel like sproster is the girl who goes up to guys and it's just like hey hey you're a cutie i want to talk to you and then they go oh oh <laughs> Oh, oh, what do I do? <laughs> oh, man. Or maybe they do. Sup, girl? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she can But when you talk in real life, you take some Insta or number and you go on the internet date again. Well, the thing is, if you get somebody's contact information, I mean, you could do a big play. And you could literally, like, in the grocery store, be like, what are you doing? Like, are you doing anything this afternoon? Do you want to go grab lunch? Like, that could be a legit thing. Yeah, you can, yeah, there's ways to get, like, you know, an insta-date right yeah. off of it. But, I mean, the safer option is to get her number and talk to her via, your, via her number. But the fact that you had, like, an IRL interaction, it, put, <clears throat> it puts you already past everybody she has on her dating app yeah she gave you her number with intent to go on a date with you most likely maybe she gave you a fake number maybe she rejected you but if she does give you her number the odds of you having a successful date with that individual are way 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 higher because you've already she already kind of knows has an idea of who you are what you're about and all that stuff. You're, you've already stated your intentions. You've told her that you find her attractive or you think she's cool or whatever. Uh, you've shown some confidence, which probably is a bonus right away that, you know, you can go up and, and chit chat and, and, you know, have an exchange. Um, so you've already, you're already like one upping the competition in that regard. 
So as long as you consistently like follow up, you know, whether it's that afternoon or the next day or whatever, you just follow up to plan a date and maybe you you text uh, up until then. Or maybe you can even set up a phone call or something like that. Yeah. Have you already arranged a meeting on the same day like that? Yeah, I have. I've never done that. I've never done same day. I know. I've done I've done same day. Like after they get out of work and when we went on a date. You know? Sometimes it works. I think I've only done it like once or twice though. It's not <clears throat> too too common to get like a date the same day. I think if you're really vibing. Yeah. Like if you can tell that she's into you. You know? Yeah. Can I invite women to my secret camera hot tub stream where I tell them to wait and we just see how long they sit in a lukewarm kiddie pool? Um, not advised for the first date, but I mean, if she's into it, then that's cool. <laughs> the secret camera hot tub stream. Oh man, <laughs> this stream is, she's just mildly confused the whole time. <laughs> Doesn't interact with anyone that's talking in Twitch. <laughs> Just confused. I mean, she has to get into it. She has to get into it. It's a pool. She has to. She okay. has to get into the pool. She has to. It's a pool. It's a pool. A pool must be gotten it into. If it's, it's, can't say no to a pool. When you meet IRL, you've already broken the ice, so it's more comfortable when you meet up again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. There's some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of relationship already already formed there. Yeah. No, I think, yeah. If you can bring yourself to try it out, I would, uh, would highly recommend it. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Flip, that's questionable. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, <laughs> we, need to, uh, we need to wrap it up for tonight. We went into a little bit of extra credit for you guys. I know that you guys like love talk. We can, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to do love talk because we, you know. No! Uh, Don't worry, we're back tomorrow. We're back tomorrow. We'll, back, we'll, we'll keep doing love talk because you guys, you know, you guys want it. Yeah. We'll dance. We'll dance like monkeys. There's some days where it seemed like people didn't want it. So yeah, there was a stint where the stream was pretty dead for love talk. And. I like Love Talk when you guys are here it, for it. Yeah, I like it too. I like it. I'm sorry guys, but I'm only here for Love Talk. Listen, Sproster, the fact that you're here at all, we, you know, yeah. we appreciate. Yeah, exactly. Because, I'm gonna be honest, when I watch Twitch, I strictly watch specific streamers for specific games, and I don't even interact in chat, so. <laughs> I do though, I do, when, I do interact when uh, we raid though. Yeah. That's the only time I really interact, but yeah. Thanks for being here. Yes, thank you. Uh, all right, guys. So we uh, we do uh, streaming Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Fridays and Saturdays are optional. If we have nothing going on, we'll be here entertaining. Uh, if you guys like the stream, feel free to drop a follow, prime sub, or normal sub. Uh, again, we are the Bo Bros. We play co-op games. Right now we're playing Guilty Gear, Strive. Uh, we also talk about love, dating, and relationships during our love talk segment, which you guys love so much. Um, and uh, we're gonna go and raid somebody. So let's see who's on. Let's see, let's see. Mrs. Mime, Pajama Party and Chill. There's Dookie, Zenigami. Chat plays Mario Party. Okay. I like that. Let's do Chillin' Dude. Chillin' Dude! Mario Party 4 interactive stream. Interesting. I like this. I like this a lot. Chillin' Dude is a homie. Uh, he's part of the Smash Melee community. Uh, good friend. Oh! Sproster! Sproster! The two months! Ah, uh, thank you. Free thank Amazon you. Prime Subby Wubby. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. Alright, you know what that means. Next stream, you get to write something on either of our bodies. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Would you just look at him? Would you just look at it? 
All right, guys. Let's see. We got four. Can we get six? Oh, there's six. Oh, a big six. Oh, shit. I gotta think about it now. Oh, yeah. You don't... You can also choose to draw as well. Yeah, you can draw. You can You can have someone... Like a face, a picture. A picture. Anything you want. Anything your little heart desires. As long as it's TOS. Yeah, as long as it's TOS. We can't, you know... We can't draw a big floppy donkey dick or something like that. <laughs> uh, anyways... Anyways, we love you, we miss you, and we really want to kiss you. We hope you have a good night, guys. It's what, Tuesday? It's uh, Tuesday. Fuck, it's only Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. Three more days of work. Three more days of work. Oh. Hit me with the outro. <laughs> oh, you guys are supposed to be laughing. Why are you guys laughing? <laughs> Add.